So I've been doing lots of tests with my new Mac Studio over the last few days. One of the things I've been experimenting with a lot is backup and storage. Now I do have a Thunderbolt 5 enclosure coming soon from Acasis, but right now I have two Thunderbolt 4 enclosures attached to the Mac Studio. This one's for files and this one's for caching. But if I go more to the right, you'll see a third Thunderbolt 4 enclosure underneath my monitor. But this one is not connected to my Mac Studio. This one is connected to the Mac Mini. Now that's really useful because what I've done is use this as an external drive in the Mac Mini, and then I've made that external drive accessible using file sharing, which means that the Mac Studio has access to that drive, which means that I can perform Time Machine backups to it. And you can see that here, Time Machine underscore Mac Studio M4 Max is going to Kevin's Mac Mini dot local. So essentially I'm using the Mac Mini here as a time capsule type machine. I'm using it to store all the backups for the Mac Studio but I can also use the Mac Mini to store backups for MacBook Airs, MacBook Pros, and any other Macs that I want. The great thing about this is that all of my Time Machine backups for my Mac Studio are stored here, but as soon as they're stored here, they're then synced using Synology Drive to my Synology NAS, which means that I've got the backups on a local SSD, but also on my NAS. Now, the Mac Mini doesn't really have to be backed up per se. It's not as important as my main computer, but I've decided to back it up anyway. And it's maybe hard to see this here, but if you see here, you'll see that on the Mac Mini itself, oh, I've had the actual Time Machine. So on the Mac Mini itself, you can see Time Machine Mac Mini M4, and that has been stored to the Synology NAS. So my Mac Mini is being backed up using Time Machine not locally to any SSD, it's going directly to my Synology NAS, which isn't really an issue as far as speed goes because it's all happening once a day at midnight. Now, right now, if I zoom back out, the Mac Mini is connected to the Mac Studio directly using a Thunderbolt 4 cable. And that's the fastest way to get backups from the Mac Studio to the Mac Mini to this external drive but I don't have to set it up that way. The way this is set up just now, it would also work using Wi-Fi, using gigabit ethernet, using 10 gigabit ethernet, which means that I've set it up so that in the future, I can move this elsewhere in the office or I can move it downstairs. I can move it anywhere in my local network. So I'm still experimenting with this, but I must say Apple is making all of this incredibly easy to do. You just have to make sure that all of the drives that you connect are accessible through file sharing and then just go through the time machine backup as normal.